Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to solve a tutorial problem in force transmissibility. A refrigerated unit having a mass of 35 kg is to be supported on three springs, each having a spring stiffness of K. The unit operates at 480 rpm. Find the value of stiffness K if only 10% of the shaking force is allowed to be transmitted to the supporting structure. Okay. So now let us see what are all the given data. So this is what that refrigerator unit. Okay, it has a mass of 35 kilogram. Okay. And it is supported on three springs. Here it is not given that whether the springs are connected in series or parallel. But as far as this case is concerned, we have considered these three springs are connected in parallel. Okay. So the mass is 35 kilogram and the speed of that system is 480 rpm and force transmissibility is 10 percentage. That is only 10 percentage of the entire force which is generated in the refrigerated unit is allowed to be transmitted to the supporting structure okay so this is what the supporting structure okay so only 10 percentage is allowed to be transmitted fine and the total number of springs is 3 okay and first thing that what we are going to calculate is the omega value that is the angular velocity of the system okay it is omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 and it is 16 pi radian per second okay so now we are going to solve the problem. This problem there is no damper. So eta value becomes zero. So for this case, the force transmissibility formula is 1 divided by plus or minus 1 minus omega divided by omega n, the whole power square. Okay. It is the formula for the force transmissibility if there is no damper okay so now we are going to substitute these values because force transmissibility is given as 0 0.1 and omega value is calculated as 16 pi radian per second so we are going to substitute these two values in this equation okay so force transmissibility is 0 0.1 and omega value is 16 pi okay the only one unknown is omega n okay now let us see how to calculate that omega n value so we have substituted uh, these values and this stamp we have just moved to this side okay so we are going to multiply this 0 0.1 with this stamp okay that is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 times 16 pi divided by omega n the whole power square which is equal to 1 okay so now here you can see a plus or minus simple so we are going to get two different values one corresponding to the plus value and another one which is corresponding to the negative value so first i am going to consider the positive sign okay so i am going to take the positive sign alone and i am going to get this value that is 16 pi divided by omega n which is equal to root of minus 9 okay which is not possible because within the root i have got negative value so this solution is not possible so i am going to consider the negative sign okay so by taking the negative sign i am going to get the entire value of this relation is 16 pi divided by omega n which is equal to root of 11 okay it is possible solution okay so i am going to consider this negative sign alone and by using that negative sign I have got that value of omega n as 15.15 radian per second. Okay. So now the natural frequency of the system has been calculated. So we can calculate what is the stiffness value. Okay. So we know that the natural frequency omega n is equal to root of k by m. Okay. The value which we are going to calculate is the stiffness. Mass value is known and this omega n value is already calculated. So, which is equal to 15.15 radian per second. Now, I am going to square the both side of the equation. Squaring the both side of the equation. So, this 
so i got that value as k by m because by squaring this term this root will be gone so k by m is equal to 15.15 square okay so the k value becomes 15.15 square multiplied by 35 because the mass of the refrigerated unit is 35 kilogram the equivalent stiffness of the spring is 8033.28 newton per meter okay this is the equivalent stiffness because so this value is corresponding to that three springs which are supported in parallel okay so i'm going to calculate what is the stiffness of the individual spring which are attached to the refrigerator unit okay so for that i'm going to divide this value by 3 so that i can get the stiffness of individual spring okay this value is 2677.76 newton per meter okay thank you